नेक्स्ट केस इज अगेन साइनस सर्जरी केस आई टोल यू दिस रिविजन केस सी दिस इज बीन नोन केस ऑफ एलर्जिक फंगल राइनोसाइनोसाइटिस विच वॉज ऑपरेटेड अर्लियर एलर्जिक फंगल राइनोसाइनोसाइटिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द पर्सन बींग एलर्जिक टू फंगल एंटीजन सी वी आर एक्सपोज टू एनवायरमेंटल फंगस वैन वी इनेल फंगस इज यूबिक्यूस इन द एयर एंड मोस्टली हु आर नॉट एलर्जिक टू वट एवर फंगल इज इनेल इज एक्सपेल्ड बाय द म्यूकोसिलरी एक्टिविटी इन टू द नेजो फेरिंग्स एंड गट नॉर्मली दोज हु आर एलर्जिक टू एलर्जिक फिनोमिला वन एवर द फंगस इज एक्सपोज स्टार्ट एंड द योसोनोफिलिक एक्शन स्टार्ट एंड इफ दिस फंगस इज ट्रैप्ड इन टू एनी ऑफ द साइनस इज दिस फिनोमिना ऑफ योसोनोफिलिक एक्टिविटी स्टार्ट एंड गिव अ क्लासिकल पिक्चर ऑफ एलर्जिक फंगल राइनोसाइनोसाइटिस so this is a pure allergic disease this is a different endotype of a polypoidal sinusitis this is a type 2 allergic disease it is an antigen antibody reaction for which steroid is the treatment of choice so the fungus acting as an antigen an antigen antibody reaction for which steroid is the treatment we have to plan a proper treatment for such patients so such patient requires a full house sinus surgery to remove all fungal antigen and at the same time it gives you an opportunity to open up the wide wide opening of the sinuses so that you can douche the steroids later on you can do steroid douching you can push the topical steroid deep into the sinuses which actually is the main stage of treatment the fungus is the disease but the treatment of choice is steroid because patient is allergic to fungus and you know eosinophilic activity is come into place to give rise to this picture so the post operative treatment is all you know aimed at introduction of the steroid to the sinuses initially oral and to avoid oral the topical steroids are more effective in the post operative situation when you do a full house face when you open up the sinuses widely it gives you better opportunity to push the topical steroid yet without systemic side effects so those patients require long term topical steroid therapy long term surveillance and then further antigen or sorry the skin prick allergic testing immunotherapy and other treatment to aim the treatment at the primary disease now this classical patient see this this is a known case of allergic fungal sinusitis was operated earlier now look at the picture a fairly good sinus surgery has been done but when we evaluated the patient with the history no irrigation was done no post operative long term irrigation was done and what you can see the same picture of sinus you know let me show in the soft tissue picture see in the soft tissue window this hyper density is of fungals and the eosinophilic material everywhere see the septum is straight middle meatus wide on either side ethmoidectomy is very well done you can see and the frontal outflow drainage is white yet patient has massive fungal disease look at the fungal disease in the frontal everywhere so now the goal of treatment again is the same like what has been planned in the beginning you have to remove this antigen and give wide openings for the future topical steroid douching wide opening we are, we can already see existing when we remove this fungal we will again ensure that the wide openings are maintained if not somewhere we have to do something to widen the opening for the surveillance and future steroid douching but the treatment remains same eliminate this fungal antigen which is act fungal you know uh, tissue which is acting as an antigen to inside antigen antibody reaction so completely remove all this fungus from the paranasal sinuses by means of sinus surgery which we are uh, going to start very soon it is some first and then will follow judiciously with a post operative treatment that for that number one is steroid 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 initially oral steroid to curb the severe in inflammation for couple of weeks and along with that the topic is steroids for long sometimes life long topical steroids are much safer 
the same steroid which is needed to the mucosa can be pushed by the topical means without the need of systemic because this is a this is a sinonasal disease you can push the topical steroid in the depth of the paranasal sinus mucosa yet without systemic side effect because they have hardly any systemic absorption avoiding the need of oral steroid so for that you need to make wide wide big big sinus openings mega entrostomies to ensure that your topical steroid reaches everywhere so this is how one can think of you know planning uh, treatments of such patient but this is a different endotype you have to you know uh, treat these patients effectively they need long term probably lifetime follow up and topical steroid dosing in surgery specifically you have to ensure mega mega entrostomies to ensure your topical reaching everywhere no role of anti fungal as such in this particular entity this is purely non invasive fungus this is purely type 1 hypersensitivity and purely there is no need of uh, you know any systemic anti fungals in this particular patient so surgical plan is full house phase whatever uh, remaining work after the previous surgery is left we have to finish it off what you can see on ct scan is huge fungal densities see this big big fungal um, you know uh, material and you will see this incipitated material composed of degenerated eosinophils and the material so we have to remove flush out everything give wide opening and start topical sinus dosing with the steroids that's the goal that's the treatment so even there is a balance between the normal sinus there is not so much as doing a draft 3 draft 3 is required when at the end of surgery you find that your openings what you have given are not adequate enough to push the steroids inside look at the frontal sinus opening look at the frontal sinus this is not a small frontal sinus the beak is not prominent beak is not prominent there is huge space anteroposterior distance of the frontal sinus so there is i don't think this patient particular patient requires any sort of draft procedure draft procedure is required when this this uh, you know frontal sinus drainage pathway is compromised because of the prominent beak because draft involves drilling and drilling of the beak to open up the space though so in this particular case the beak is not uh, giving any problem so particularly what i believe most likely in this particular case the draft is not required yeah so the whole goal is for the access access of topical steroids removal of fungal antigen and introduction of steroids in nutshell these are the two things which are required for such patients hello hello yes sir can you hear me yes i can hear you okay so uh, let me show you the first endoscopic picture without decongestion see the picture of polyposis see the allergic picture and see the fungal mucin can you see yes sir on the left side on the right side same allergic congested mucosa sinuses are void open but see superiorly towards the frontal it is blocked and allergic mucin can you see yes sir so i told you even if you operate if you do a good job and patients are not followed with the proper medical treatment see in such generalized sinus disease like allergic fungal sinusitis the cause is medical disease is the co treatment is medical role of surgery is just limited to remove the fungal antigen and at the same time giving wide openings to allow the topical steroid to go inside now surgery is not the end treatment of this disease surgery facilitate the medical treatment by allowing the topical steroid to go inside the paranasal sinuses this is the role of the surgery it's not that you operate and forget about it you can operate 100 times it is going to come back 
so the co treatment is medical and you have to convince you have to counsel your patient to follow with the medical treatment in such diseases for life surgery is the beginning of the better medical treatment that can avoid the need of oral steroid where the, it makes the topical steroid penetrable so it has to be very clear to the surgeons to the clinicians as well as the patient the surgery is the beginning of treatment which facilitates the medical treatment so i am decongesting the mucosa right now the code hello see this is the primary picture after initial decongestion to open up the nasal airway nasal passage see this yes and we saw we saw the adequate bone work done on ct scan this is mucosal disease see now this is all edematous mucosa all see this edematous mucosa which needs medical treatment widening the sinus access further See unaerated sinus because of edematous mucosa. Depending upon the pathology, it always depends upon the underlying pathology. Like in previous case, the maxillary sinus had hardly any disease, and we didn't widen it much, and it was not needed. In this case. this is a generalized sino nasal disease allergic this requires long term topical steroids and this required wide wide entrostomies this is different pathology see this wide and wide and see look at so here i am see converting suction nahi kaat rahe See, giving wide, wide entrostomies.
see the small polyposis because of the ongoing inflammation. See this fungal antigen? See, the bone work is adequate, looking adequate. See the maxillary sinus? All this edematous mucosa will come back to normal once the ventilation and drainage is established and once the topical steroid start reaching to the inflamed mucosa. See this? This is the lamina papracia, the lateral limit. All this is bad mucosa, inflamed, badly inflamed mucosa because of long standing inflammation. That's why such patients should be thoroughly counseled for the post operative treatment. See this? Huge fungal material. Still I am with zero degree. And see because of the excessive inflammation, this little bit of the bleeding is likely. See this fungal? Classical mucin of AFRS. You discuss about the need of the draft. Let me show you the final frontal sinus work we give and then we'll reassess. See this why see no bone work was required so far. See this? All mucosal disease. All mucosal disease. Just uh, pack for a while and take 70 degrees. All mucosal disease. This is completely inflamed uh, because of severe allergic fungal rhinosinusitis.
de esa acción muerta causa esa acción Hello. Hello. Watch the motor is watch. Yes sir. Can you see this fungal material? Inspected fungal material everywhere? Yes. Suction dena yaar. Suction dena. Difficult to remove kind of sticky fungal material difficult to remove. Look na. Look. This is such an sticky material, which is so, yeah, so difficult to remove. So you have to use various means to push it out, and one of them is irrigation. See this irrigation to flush out, irrigation to flush out. You may use sometimes hydro divider, which is a water jet. You can use 360 degree to flush out. See this. This fungus just completely packed the frontal sinus. See this? And the goal in this surgery, I told you, is two prong: removing the fungal antigen, and secondly, allowing the steroid to penetrate. That's the goal of surgery. See this juicing. Juicing allows this to dislodge the fungus in the safest manner. See this. See this use. So sometimes it becomes so frustrating. To remove such huge fungus, which is so sticky, doesn't come out so easily, and you have to do various, you know, use various tactics to remove it. Yes, please. No, no, this patient. I don't think the previous surgeon did any wrong thing. The issue what I see is not following the irrigation. We inquired the patient also that um, he was not. It never followed any douching or anything. See this kind of massive fungal disease. See this. This 
needs purely the steroid dosing that is it. So, this should be very clear in allergic fungal sinusitis patient the aim of surgery or the treatment is two prong. One is to remove this fungal antigen thoroughly Pardon? Draw procedure. I don't think. See, the opening is adequate. Yeah, see the problem this patient was, even if you do this surgery 100 times, and don't follow with the medical treatment with diseases. This is a medical disease. Goal of surgery is to remove the fungal antigen and wide openings for the topical steroid. If you don't follow with the topical steroid treatment, there is no point in operating. So, role of surgery is very clear and role of medical treatment is very clear. Wherever the access is not adequate, suppose, for the topical to reach frontal sinus to remove the fungal disease, then you remove the beak. That is draft. In this case, beak is not posing any problem. There is no question of draft. Draft is nothing additional but just beak removal. See, this is pure wash. So now I am using the hydro debrider to wash for earlier care. To wash thoroughly with a pressure jet so that you can remove this fungal antigen. See this? You have an adequate frontal sinus opening. Can you see? Pardon? Yeah, this is good. To dislodge the what the air beach was. To dislodge the fungus. See this? With the pressure jet. This fung fungus is so embedded within the pockets of this edematous mucosa. It becomes so difficult to dislodge this. So, you have to keep trimming the mucosa, keep decongesting and keep douching through the 
mucosal fold to dislodge the fungus. See this fungus is dislodged. See with the douching, dislodge like this. See the big chunk is coming out. Big chunk. See the frontal sinus now. Oh, the the bladder. See the huge opening of the frontal sinus. See the intersinus septum thinned out, eroded because of the pressure. chunk came out suction suction reverse see now the sinus much better all you need to do is Sometime you miss the fungus in the folds of the edematous mucosa. So tightly packed fungus everywhere. This is opposite side. For which will come from the opposite side. See this side frontal sinus is pretty clear now. See all around the frontal sinus. Can you see this is opposite side inter sinus septum. For which will come from opposite side. This is the opening in the inter sinus septum. See this?
More and more irrigation. Patla ho de. See irrigation everywhere. All nooks and corners. See this sign. Will, all this mucosa will revert back to normal once the the fungus is out and ventilation drainage is established and the topical douching is started. The steroid started. But who will still all over there? So this time, this is many a times a very very frustrating exercise. पतला वाला देखो, चील वाला यार मत इरिटेट किया कर, एक बार में सुन लिया कर, ये देना, ये देना, yes please पार्टन पार्टन या या कॉमन कॉमन we get to see such situations very commonly that's why in such patients the proper counseling is key Never tell this patient that your surgery is going to cure you surgery is going to facilitate the medical treatment one point this surgery will facilitate the fungal antigen removal surgery will facilitate the topical steroid introduction and then you have to follow the medical treatment. If you don't, the surgery has no role. Now going to the opposite side. This is in the opposite, uh, you know, sinus. We went through the intercept septum. Let's go to the opposite side. I am with the 70 degree only. Seventy six of them. See, just mucosal edema. No bone work is required. See. Yeah, absolutely clear. Only this.
120. See the fungus up there. The frontal sinus is widened. See this? And it is adequately, uh, you know, wide. It's not that it is. Uh, it is adequate work in my opinion. All this patient requires is a. Is a yes. Wash. A little bit of the fungus is left behind. The rest of the sinus is pretty clear. See this? See the maxillary is clear. All other sinus is clear. So this requires a dedicated douching in a particular manner, in a particular position, lying head back or something. So it reaches everywhere. Effectively. All for a cover again. Oh, here's the So I am using a more curved, you know, suction tip, so as to mark. Just lost this fungus. Hydro debrider. See this almost completely clear. Yes, but we still we will. Uh, I can see the fungal flag, so I want to use the hydro debrider thoroughly. See this. This can be rotated one. This can be rotated. See this water jet. This is water jet, can be rotated 360 degree. Yeah. Pardon? This is very useful in these circumstances. So now, rest of the job will be done by the topical. See, everything is clear. Sinuses are thoroughly cleared off. All that requires. See. So this was basically requiring. See one particular particle, fungal particle. Yes. 
so it is out now see little bit of fungus there trapped <laughs> so frustrating within the mucosal fold So by and large the job is done except this small particle. The bride. See how such fungus is frustrating. Trapped. Little dislodged, coming out. See this? Hello. So now it is completely cleared. See how frustrating it was. Zero degree. Now we'll see finally at the posterior sinus if any zero. and the job is done both frontals are widely open see this yes. again for allergic fungal sinusitis state yeah. the goal of surgery is uh, limited two prong remove removing the fungal antigen and ensuring the wide openings for the future topical irrigation that's it surgery is the beginning of the treatment it is an antigen antibody reaction which requires medical treatment steroid as a principal medicine see this little bit of the fungus in the sphenoid as well See, trapped in between the mucosal fold. Can you see? Suction. See the fungus. Lock, wall probe is another good way of dislodging such fungus. That's it. So we have wide opening of all the sinuses, see now, yes. including frontal, what all is needed is the topical therapy later on. 
this surgery has enabled the topical to be effective by means of allowing the topical steroid reaching everywhere see this that's all about uh, this surgery and afrs again is a medical disease remove the fungus and ensure the topical reaching any question dr rokade because uh, we are approaching 3 o'clock 5 minutes we can continue discussion question answer uh, this is going to be the last case only is 3 pm india time we'll do but uh, i think the telecast is not going to go after 3 pm so any 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 ha huh? huh? okay Pardon? What is the post-op management? Post-op management for these cases is a um, steroid dosing. For these patients, see the mainstay of treatment is steroid. This is antigen-antibody reaction. So initially, with this kind of uh, you know inflamed mucosa, we'll give for some time oral steroid and antibiotics. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, taper down the oral steroids and continue with the topical for long. So topical steroid is the key. key treatment is topical steroid for long for long okay thank you so uh, let us know we will uh, uh, be in the studio then uh, we can discuss uh, joint for the next phase so in the meantime uh, we will wait for a message uh, in the meantime thank you thank you very much yeah, Thank you. Thank you once again for everybody for bearing with us. Thank you.